What's cracking, movie trivia Schmodown fans? It's your boy C Dub Chris Woodburn coming at you with another reaction. Today we got DC Movie News taking on the team formerly known as IGN. Top that. This is going to be a fun match. Let's get it cracking. Okay. Manager Bowl contract is almost complete. Everybody's here. Bad in his contract. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, Commissioner? It's Ricky. How the hell did you get this number? Hey, you're setting up a manager bowl with Tom and Jay. This is bullshit. Okay, Ricky. It's not bullshit. It's the two of them, and the winner will get one of their members a number one contender spot. I manage critically acclaimed, and they are the best. Okay, sure. So I should, uh, I don't know. I should be in this. I feel like I've earned it. Well, uh, you know, that's actually not that bad of an idea. We put all three of you together, one, one, and one, and see who's the best. Okay, great. Yeah, I accept your invitation. One question. Can I have Bibiani play for me so I have a fighting chance? No, you can't have Bibiani. It's you. It's the manager bowl. You, Tom, and Jay. The three managers. No, three never mind. I'll do it. And I'm going to win. Because Tom and Jay, they're complete idiots. All right. I've wasted enough time. Bye. <laughs> Fucking Ricky. Well, okay. Guess I'm redoing the contract. <laughs> Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. Christian Harloff here, joined by my good buddy, Ken, the pit boss, Napsai. Hello. Do I still have to answer to you? You no, still got power? No, I, I'm, I'm your equal, my friend. Oh, finally. I, I, I finally. know, I know. It's true. I'm not going to get you a coffee. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but no, Thad Williams is our commissioner. I came back and we made an agreement, he and I, that I will not be the commissioner until the day comes where I lose my championship that we thought was, that was fair. Uh, Thad had a contract for that, as apparently Thad has a contract for everything. Contract. Yeah. I should start using contracts in my day daily life mm -hmm. um but today we have a match it's a really exciting match because it's going to determine a number one contender for next season or or so at least put someone in a number one contender spot yeah. and we're going to start out here with dc movie news that's the team of adam gertler the silent assassin and you also have mike ko kalinowski who is you know you look at these guys dc movie news are making a run for a rookie team of the year kalinowski is making a, made a run for himself as potentially a player of the year the things that he has done um these guys had just kind of come on the scene and kalinowski had become like a superstar in inner geekdom in teams in singles and they had a nice little run for themselves in the team tournament they absolutely did they're one of those teams that uh, i don't want to say they're easy to overlook you shouldn't i mean definitely i don't overlook them but maybe it, there's a lot of giant personalities in this league and you got a silent assassin and you got uh, Mike K.O. Kalinowski just kind of shows up does his job which is winning so uh, th this is a big opportunity for them to break out ahead of the pack well I want to show you a little maybe not a difference between myself and Thad Williams but something interesting that he did this shows the kind of personality that Thad Williams is Thad Williams deep cuts played and lost to the team that they're playing now, formerly known right. as IGN. They are now known as Top That, the team of Jim Vavita and Eric Goldman. They lost. Uh, Thad Williams and Aaron Williams lost to this team. And Thad said, look, I know that these guys weren't in the tournament, right. but they are good. They were. They had potential to win the whole thing at 2-1 and one with one knockout, the same record as DC Movie News. Let's put them together and see what kind of team at three and one will play for a number one contender spot. Yeah, that that is a that is an impressive record. Yeah, top that. Looking forward to it. They took some time off, put a new uh, coat of paint on the house, and now they're still here. But it's still the same house. You get yeah. that? That's a good I, I like, like sports uh, I, house I analogy. Yeah, yeah, right. right? Yeah, I like it. The team with the most points wins. All right. I like hearing you talk, but I'd rather yeah. hear the competitors talk, and we're going to hear them right now. We're back. Here we are, Adam. We got uh, tournaments over. It's behind us. You know, we came in strong in that tournament. We had that KO against Six Degrees, went up against above the line. And what can I say? Drew McWeeny, that guy, was a beast. But in that match, he gave the best performance of our entire team matches together. Absolutely well-deserved, sir. We, uh, we kind of dropped out of the, the scene for a little bit. Uh, some things came up in life. We couldn't make it into your tournament. But... Uh... 
Uh, we were just spending our time honing, strengthening in the cocoon, and now we're bursting out like a, a butterfly with, with lasers and missiles, uh, a super butterfly, a mega butterfly, if you will, ready to destroy everyone in our path. Top that, so the call that. I'm top that. There are a lot of hyper research in these guys. Not top hat. Top that. There's a lot of research with these guys. I had to look up these guys. They were they were some of the favorites to go into the tournament, but then they had some inner turmoil happen with the team. Hey, you know who knows that? We're not going to even worry about that. They're here to compete against us. <laughs> we're here to compete against them. That's what we're going to go for at this point. I don't care about their history. I don't care what they used to be called. They're here. They're facing us right now. That's what we're going to get down to. I belonged in that tournament. That tournament was insignificant without me, without Eric. But that, yeah, it's not a, not a real tournament. I mean, okay, we let we let the kids play, you know, while we took a little breather. But yeah, that's that now they have to actually have some real competition. That's right. The men are here to take your boys' uh, trophy away from you. You, my friend, you're my silent assassin. You're, you are my secret weapon in this. We're gonna come together in this one. We're going for it in this one. I got this guy with me. There's no stopping us right now. How you feeling? Look at this. This guy's ready to go. I gotta get him out there. Oh, and yeah, yeah, we've retitled ourselves, and yeah, you know, uh, you know what's gonna happen here. You know, you're just just gonna take a TKO. So, what do we got to say about that? Top that. What's up, man? <laughs> well said. <laughs> well, you didn't hear much from Gertler, although he tried to say something. Their dynamic is is really good. He's dressed very nice, obviously, but it's Jim Vavita and Eric Goldman. They mm -hmm. said pretty much that the tournament was insignificant because they were not in it. Um, uh, they yeah. said that you know DC who they don't they don't need to play them. It doesn't really matter because they are going to be the number one contenders. They want to play for those titles. That loss to Modoc really really bothered them. They want to exact revenge on whoever they play. And this is the first time we've seen them since before the tournament. Yep. They come in here not the favorites. They come right. in here because they weren't in the tournament. DC Movie News is the favorites in this match. And Ken, what's the tale of the tape? Tale of the tape, DC Movie News. They have their strengths in comic book movies. Don't let that DC fool you. They know Marvel as well. They're there. They're also, I'd say, 2000s, Action Venture, and James Bond. Uh, top that, I, I'd say fantasy sci-fi. I know, uh, you know, Eric knows a lot about Star Wars, too. So new releases. New releases yeah. is good as well. Classics as well. All right. So if you're ready to go, Ken, I'm ready, too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. Three rounds in the team division. Introducing first. Representing Rocky Four. himself. They are with a record of two wins, one defeat, and one knockout. Team Top Fan. of question mark man it's one of my favorites all right so <laughs> here we here we go so we're gonna start here and the rules of the game round number one starts like this the competitors are gonna get eight questions all worth one point a piece from various movie topics they're gonna have 15 seconds to answer the question they're gonna write it down on their whiteboard when it is their time to answer they will show it to the camera and say it at the same time time don't forget about the jte rule and don't forget about the challenge rule if you don't know what those rules are make sure that you ask and the judges will tell you all right here we go so we are going to start the match here mike are you ready let's do it jim are you ready yes sir adam ready. and eric ready uh, let's get ready to schmoda <laughs> Here we go. 
round number one in the category of family films. What kind of dog was Beethoven in the 90s family films? Beethoven. You ever seen Beethoven? Uh, no, no, but I'm, uh, I'm a fan of the star of that movie, you know? Beethoven. No. Oh, Saint Charles Bernard. Grove. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Mike Kalinowski. Saint Bernard? That's correct, Sorry. Jim. Saint Bernard. Correct, Adam. Basset Hound. Oh, oh Eric. Oh! Large. That's <laughs> what I mean. Yes. All right, but so no. Kalinowski and Vader yeah. going head to head here. DC movie news, <laughs> top that, 1 1. All right, next question. All right, guys, second question comes in the category of comedies. Comedies. What is the first and last name of the Dan Aykroyd character in 1984's Ghostbusters? You still haven't seen it, have you? Uh, I don't. Is that you, son of a bitch? Don't know what that one surprises me. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, you find I'm full of surprises. Five, four, Rafe Muhammad, three, two, one. Vape it up. Me? Oh. Yes. Ray stands. Correct. Adam Gertler. Ray stands. That is correct. Eric. Ray stands. And Mike. Ray stands. There you All go. Right. All right. Right. Four. Four. We got four. Excuse me. Three, 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 three. Next one. Category of dramas. Who stars as Darius, a disillusioned college graduate who lives at home with her widower father and interns at Seattle Magazine in the 2012 dramedy Safety Not Guaranteed? I have uh, no pondering. idea. Pondering, yeah. pondering, forming a little mm -hmm. pop Five, up in his head there. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Adam Gertler. Got nothing. That is incorrect. Uh, uh, Eric. Aubrey Plaza? Correct. Mike Kalinowski. Reese Witherspoon. And Jim. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, oh, Jim, Jim perfect. Again. Jim is the only one who's perfect. 5-3 yeah. here. DC, Jim doesn't look like he missed a beat here since his last match. All right, here we go. 5-3. All right, guys. Fourth question comes in the category of comic book movies. Comic book movies. What is the name of the British agent that Steve Rogers falls for in Captain America, the first Avenger? You ever see that one? Uh, no. Great dick. Five, four, three, two, Agent one. Agent Peggy Eric. Carter. Agent Peggy Carter. Correct. Mike. Peggy Carter. Correct. Correct. Jim. Peggy Carter. That's and right. Adam. Peggy Carter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Gurler, not silent right now. All right. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Maybe Next one. Perfect. Category of action adventure. 1962 saw the release of the first official Bond film, which was titled what? Mike Kalinowski scoffed at that question. Scoffed. And five, four, three, Doctor two, No? One pens down. Mike Kalinowski. Doctor No. Correct. Jim. Doctor No. Adam. Majesty's Secret Service. Oh, and Eric. Dr. Nick. Wow, oh, so right. that hurt DC movie. Is it? Mike Kalinowski shocked at the, at the miss there by his partner. As we get into the next question here. All right, all right, all right. Question number six is category of directors. Who directed the Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss comedy, What About Bob? Jim hits this. Mm, baby steps, baby steps. And five, four, three, Harold Ramis? two, one pens down. Jim. Harold Ramis? That's incorrect. incorrect. Adam. John Hughes. Incorrect. incorrect. Oh. Eric. Frank Oz. Correct. correct. And Mike. I put Halle. So no. I, I know. <laughs> no. Wow. Doesn't even know what he wrote. But Harley something I was trying to write. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Oh, Jim, oh, missed, but Jim missed the perfect round there, so there, nobody's going to have a perfect round. But DC Ooh. Movie Ooh. News Ooh. is down four points to Frank top that because Eric Goldman hitting that big point there. All right, yeah. here we go, guys. Next question here, realm of fantasy sci-fi. Which actor played the character of Roy Batty in Blade Runner? Yep. I'll tell you, that top that team looks yeah, pretty I mean, solid. Looks like they had a, yeah, it looks like they haven't Sometimes missed a beat. you take a little break, catch your breath. Mm -hmm. He Five, was also Mr. Four, Earl in Batman Begins. Rucker Howard. One, Adam Gertler. Harrison Ford. Incorrect. Eric. Rucker Howard. That's correct. Mike. Rucker Howard. Correct. correct. Jim. Rucker Howard. There right. you go. So... 12-7, 12-7, we've got a five-point lead there for top that. DC News needs to start picking up the pace here as we get into animated here. Ken, what do you got? Uh, all right, eighth and final question, category animated. In Toy Story 2, what is the name of the TV show Woody finds out he's from? 
I don't do the cartoon movies. No idea. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Eric. Woody's Roundup. That is correct. And Mike. Woody's Roundup. There you go, correct. Jim. Howdy do. Nope. And, and, and Hee Haw Palace. Oh, oh they no. just, when they have that shot, though, they just yeah. can't capitalize. 13 8. Five yeah. points still. Five points there. And DC Movie News needs to catch up here in round number two. Round number two works like this. The competitors are going to get the wheel. They're going to spin it. They will get six questions in round number two. If it lands on a category they don't like the first time, they can choose to spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Each question is worth two points apiece, unless you go to multiple choice. Then it's worth one point. You can steal in this round 15 seconds to answer the question. Top that, you guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Yeah, All right, right, go ahead. Give it a good spin, please. Putting the pressure on. Big, big spin. spin. Big spin. spin. <laughs> Spins in there. Jim Baker, I'll accept that. And Eric Goldman. I mean, these guys are yeah. stars. There's no doubt about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. 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 Starting right where they left off. I mean, Ken, these guys yeah, are something. This is, uh, if I'm the Patriots, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. Yep. We're going we're gonna to take the low-hang fruit that is comic book movies. Comic book movies, oh, DC oh, movie news. Now, obviously, hoping to take some steals here, but... If not, uh, we're there in trouble. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. So what color are Hemdale's eyes in the Thor film? Yellow. Gold. We'll accept the yellow gold is correct for two points. There you go. All right. All right, next question. Next question. In the graphic novel-based film Cowboys and Aliens, which actor who also played an MCU villain plays Doc? Sam Rockwell. Two points. That's Two points. Is it for that yep. <laughs> All right. You'll find the character of Hannibal King in what Marvel film? Blade Trinity. Blade Trinity. Two okay. points. That's... Wow. Look, this is Eric Goldman. It's very strong here. Yeah. All right. Here we go. In the Dark Knight, what does Lucius say is the name of the evacuation technique Batman uses to escape China? Skyhook. Two Sky points. Hook. Two points. Wow. All right. All right, question number five. Question number five. What was the name of the girl that Peter had a crush on in Spider-Man Homecoming? Liz Allen. Liz. Two points. And your final question here, your final question. What West Wing alum plays Dr. Emile Hamilton in Man of Steel? Richard Schiff. That would be... Uh, Richard Schiff. I know he's five, Schiff. four, three, uh, multiple choice. A, Richard Schiff. B, Rob Lowe. C, Bradley Whitford. D, Martin Sheen. Uh, Richard Schiff. One point. Let's go yeah, for sorry. All right. So now DC Movie News is in a position. They have to have a tremendous yeah. round two here, or they are going to be on the verge of a knockout yeah. in this <laughs> round. they got to have a big round two. Adam or Mike, whoever wants to go ahead and go spin. They got a spin here. This is big. Whichever way you want to go, buddy. Big here. That's a good spin. All right, there, there we go. go. They really need to have a big it's round here. here. DC oh, Movie Sam News. And they're going to land on comedy. Comedy. Would you like to stay on comedy or spin again? Okay, so. All right. They don't look confident in this one. I mean, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, my, if, if Mike Allen asks you, they're going to spin again. K.O.'s going to give him a spin. K.O.'s trying. Big spin, big spin, big spin. Action adventure. Come on, sci-fi All fantasy, right. sci-fi fantasy. Action adventures sci-fi fantasy. with what they Colin Ford, but there. No! He jinxed himself with Sandra Bullock. He jinxed himself with Sandra Bullock. It was a jinx there. Sandra Bullock, and oh my goodness. Sandra Bullock now, and here we go. All right, guys. Yeah, can you step with comedies now, huh? Six... No, I'm going to, no, Sandy Bullock with so, comedies. Six yeah. questions in the category of Sandy Bullock. Sandy Bullock, here we go. Question one. What is Sandra Bullock's talent that she performs during the talent portion of the Miss United States pageant in Miss Congeniality? Five. Four. Three. Two. Uh, burping. Doesn't even go for multiple oh, choice. Multiple choice. As we go over here, guys, for the steal. Uh, uh, five. I was she uh, four. reciting three. 
law. Uh, gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> Reciting <laughs> gunfire is not the answer. Uh, bang, uh, bang. <laughs> Good. Okay, and what is it? Uh, it's plain, <laughs> see, it. plain water glasses or wine glasses. Oh. oh. All, right. All right. You saw a little interesting detention there. I was going to say there. reciting. Like <laughs> okay, guys. Second question out of six. <laughs> What type of work does Sandra Bullock's character, Angela Bennett, do in the 1995 movie, The Net? Five. Five. Multiple choice. A, teacher. B, lawyer. C, hairstylist. D, software engineer. D, software engineer? Do the math. Software engineer. That's correct. One point. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Next one. Okay, good. All right, guys. Question three. Question three. Who plays the villainous John Geiger in Speed 2 Cruise Control? Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Two That's points. That's correct. All right. Two points. Stand alive. Right there. All right. Stand alive. All right. All right, guys. Who directed the action comedy The Heat starring Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy? Five, four, three. Paul Feig. That's correct. Two, for two points. points. Look at that. That's big. Right. Okay, they're coming back, fighting hard here. Two questions left. Two questions left. Fourteen is your safety number here to get to to stay alive. Who plays the guy Sandra Bullock ends up with at the end of While You Were Sleeping? Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Five. Yeah. Bill Pullman? That's two correct for two points. points. Yeah. They're alive. They're fighting hard there. They're alive. They're alive. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, final question. You guys ready? Final question. Sandra Bullock plays the futuristic cop obsessed with 90s culture in what? Demolition film? Man. Demolition, Demolition Man. That's two correct. more points. Right. So DC Movie News on the verge of a knockout Ooh. gets himself a seven points. Seven points. Now, look. That is still a hard deficit to come yep. back against a team like Top That, but still, <laughs> from the chance they were going to be knocked out in that second round, and they are alive. Uh, round number uh, three uh, is going to work like this. The teams are going to get three numbers from one to 20. The first one is worth two. Second one is three. The third one is five. Someone on the team will take the two. Someone will take the three, and then they can confer on the five. All right, so Top That, you guys are in the lead. Please take three numbers from one to 20. Seven, eight, and 15. Seven, eight, and 15. Stay away from right. nine. All right, here we go. DC. Two, three, and nine. Two, three, Ooh. nine. All right, I will ask the questions to a DC Movie News who have category number two for their first one. Category number two. All right, guys, your category is war movies. Who's taking it? War movies. I'll take it. You're going to take it? Yep. All right, Mike. In Full Metal Jacket, what is the nickname of Private Joker's best friend? Private Pile. Private Pile. Come Five, on, Private Pile. Four, three. Repeat the question. In Full Metal Jacket, what is the nickname of Private Joker's best friend? Private Pile. Five. Private Pile. Four, three, two. Jelly Donut. <laughs> Close. Cowboy. 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 All right. All right. So it comes down this to Adam Gertler. Must answer Adam situation. Adam Gertler has to hit the yeah. three-pointer or top that will win via TKO. Category three here, musicals. Musicals. Oh, All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Adam. <Barbara> Sandra. <laughs> Who played young orphan girl Heidi? In the 1937 film of the same name. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Repeat the question. I'm Who played young orphan girl Heidi in the 1937 film of the same name? Shirley Temple. For three That's points. Right. Oh! Keep themselves alive. They have to hit the five point. They're not uh, you've never been to a bar mitzvah and had like soda with Dr. Howard, Dr. Novich. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. 
geography. They're it's, not out of. They're not out of the woods yet. Yeah. They're not out of the woods yet. They need. They need to hit this or 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 top that still wins here. But they can confer. They can confer in the five pointer here. Number nine. Number category nine. That's a category of Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Here we go, guys. Not your Sandra. This is it. This is it. What 1999 movie was directed by Wes Craven and stars, you guessed it, Meryl Streep? Very Roller tough question. That's a five-pointer. Yeah. Mark Andrego knows it. Five? I would imagine. Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Three. Two. Repeat the question. Your last one. Last one. What 1999 movie Directed by Wes Craven and stars Meryl Streep. Five, four, three, two, one. Scream two. And your winners by way of to top that. Those guys are scary. Didn't even, they, they left 10 points on the board. They could have uh, reached into the mid-30s with that uh, game. They didn't need to. No. DC's a top team, but that's a big win for top that. Big win. DC fought hard. Uh, I think Gertler, unfortunately, started off slow and then came back yeah. fast, but he just, it was too much of a deficit. They were almost out of this completely in a second. Yeah. They should hang their heads high there. It was, it, was a, it was a good fought victory, but top that just showed they are an elite team. Yeah. Who knows what they would have done if they were in that tournament. Absolutely. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and talk to Josh McCuga, who has both the teams. What's up, Movie Trivia Smoke Down fans? Josh McCuga here with Top That. Post a TKO over DC Movie News. How are you guys feeling right now? Fucking A right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're feeling awesome. I think we wanted to show people that we hadn't lost a step, and I think we did that and then some. Now, I'm a big Speed fan, but I think after today, you guys are just big Sandra Bullock fans. <laughs> they roll Sandra Bullock, spin Sandra Bullock. Uh, seemed like she was the thorn in their side. How would you guys feel about that? I mean, look, I, they, they did a lot better on that category than I thought they would. You yeah, know, uh, they, yeah. they, they showed that, you know, they, they, they knew they're Sandy to some extent. But at the end of the day, look, uh, they didn't have cruise control. So what can you do? All right, so you guys, obviously, you, you have a knockout on your belt. You have a TKO on your belt. You're going to a number one contender spot. You could face top ten. You could face action. You could face MODOK. Who do you guys want to see? Who do you guys want to take on? I want to take on MODOK. Yeah, there's some bad I, blood there. Yeah, there's some bad blood there. Uh, I mean, top ten versus top that is kind of just <laughs> for a, from a naming point You guys all have to wear top of hats. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, <laughs> that's kind of, you know, tough to pass that one up. But I don't know. I kind of want to take MODOK down a peg. Yeah, that, that, still, that still hurts, that loss against MODOK. Uh, I'd like to uh, show them that was just, just a little mishap. And that uh, that we can just we can wipe the floor with them. I'm gonna crush them with our clammy hands. <laughs> <laughs> On their way to victory, uh, number one contender spot. I think what the fans really want to know before we get out of here: Do you guys have any fear of the Patriots, or is that just another obstacle in the way of top that? No. No fear. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, yeah, the Patriots, come on. They, they they just they haven't played a real team yet, you know? Yeah. And then we're yeah, here. No, no, come on. They, they're all deflated balls and a lot of talk. Come wow. On. Top that. Coming in hot. Congrats, boys. <laughs> TKO. They're moving on. They're a number one contender. Look out, league. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans here with DC Movie News, unfortunately on the wrong end of the competition today. <laughs> now, Mike, I've lost to you in what people are calling an absolute destruction. But today, uh, uh, but today... That was one of my favorite matches. Yeah, though. it was I a lot of fun because you won. Um, now, today, you guys, was it, when they got Spinner's Choice and they went superhero movies, was it just... Is that it? Comic, comic book movies, I apologize. Yeah, Cal, what, what, what can you say? You, you get, you know, they admit it. They went, they said that was their strength. We would have done the same thing. We would okay. have absolutely done the same thing. There's no sense in playing, you know, trying your ego, whatever. Go for it. They got it. They nailed it, you know. Do you think it's the best team you faced? It's tough. I don't want to, I never talk bad about any team that you lose to because they won. But the wheel went in their favor. It was a... I, a man I, who's flabbergasted. You know uh, me. I can talk. I, I know. Can talk right now, man. I, I, I a mix of emotions right now. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I milk was the wrong choice, as Will Ferrell once said. Um, <laughs> who know? I don't know. I don't know what to think right now. I'm out of it. I don't know what's going on. Favorite Sandra Bullock movie? 
total demolition man. Like, I don't <laughs> even know. We can, like, he, sure. he wanted to go comedies. I should have stuck with my gut and gone with him with comedies in that one. I can't do comedies very well. We spun again. Sandra Bullock movies. We was the Riddler. <laughs> this guy's an enigma, wrapped in a who knows what. Literally. This, I can't understand this guy. He, he throws me I, I, for a loop, then he gets. Shirley Temple. He's uh, uh, sausages. <laughs> he's everything. I, I don't know what's going on. I think I think Adam and I we need to start working together as a team more. Okay. I think we're we're not reading each other well. And you're that's not my one, fault. And you're uh, a number one contender uh, in the singles right now. I am. Yeah. I think seeing what's going on right now, I need to take a step back. I think from teams for a little bit. I think maybe I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm too focused all over the place. Under geekdom, singles, this that, teams. I don't, maybe I'm all over the place. I don't maybe know what's going on. spread a little too thin, a lot like the material in Adam's jacket there. I know what that's all about. It's a thin layer of uh, unprotected material. Kind, never mind. It's going in a weird direction. Oh, I will say, right. You guys put an Alva fight. Adam hasn't said anything. This guy, man. He's a silent but deadly killer, like a lot of farts. Uh, but uh, you guys are out there. You're doing it, and I think we're out. We're something right now. Where we? we I, who knows? Your fan I favorites. Give you, hey, I'd give you a sports reference about a team that's you know doesn't what they need to go back. But I don't know sports, so I can't help you out on that one, man. I'm it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> guys, if you're rooting for them, you rooted for good guys. If you rooted for a win, oh, we're sorry. I gotta say one thing though. Go. The League of Justice, the Facebook page, I have them quiz me all the time. One of the questions popped up, Woody's Roundup. Thank you to you guys. I only got that because you guys quizzed me on that. So you guys are phenomenal. I'm going to keep reaching out to you guys. You guys are our support. You're our, you know, you guys are there. You're our team. You're our, our, our fan base. You help me out there. You helped me out in my singles match, this match. So thank you for that, guys. So that was actually great I promo. Great did. promo from Mike the Killer Kalinowski. <laughs> guys, good match. Tough loss. We'll see you next time top that that they're they're calling out the patriots still they're calling out above the line they, they they're looking to play whoever whoever comes their way in that number one contender spot they've earned it three and one and two knockouts they knocked out a really good team here yeah it's strength of schedule sometimes factors yeah. it yeah. you know college football does here eh, sometimes but we know that there's a prestige factor to this victory today look they are three and one and uh, that is a solid team what they did so well that first round is where Jim had that very solid look like he was going to have a perfect game and then he missed a couple but Eric yeah. got, got them right and it's like you you can't miss a beat with these guys you have to capitalize when they make a mistake because yeah. they'll make you pay for one it one of the scary things about Jim and Eric if you're really watching closely they don't hesitate no they don't this is stuff they know this, they, they really do these are contenders and I think we're going to hear a lot about top that when it comes to the 2018 series what do you think guys Top that. Are they contending for titles next year? What do you think? Go ahead and comment, share, like, do all of it. Comment, and we'll talk to you next time. And some stats here from Frankie Janish. Like, comment, share. It's easy. What's up, Showdown fans? Frank here. In today's match between DC Movie News and Top That was a sight for sore eyes as we finally saw the return of the team formerly known as IGN. And what a return it was. Now, I'm here to tell you how it all stacks up in your Schmo Down Breakdown. And oh, Frankie oh. Top Bat had a tremendous return to the Schmo Down by TKOing DC Movie News. And that now means all three of their wins have been decided by KO or TKO. All right, there's a lot to get into, so let's dive right into it. DC was 14 of 25 for an accuracy rate of 56%. This is a big drop off from their 60% career average, and their 20 points are the fewest points ever scored by them. It didn't help that Adam Gertler's first round performance had a massive drop off since his last match when he scored 8 points, as opposed to his 2 points in this match. Now, top that in their return answered 19 of 23 for an 82% accuracy rate. It's the best performance they've ever had. It's a large part thanks to Eric Goldman's first round performance scoring seven points. It's the first time he has ever outscored his own teammate, Jim Babita, in the first round. And a quick round two note, this was the second consecutive match top that spun Spinner's choice, as well as picking comic book movies. Combined, they're a perfect 12 for 12 for a total of 22 points out of a possible 24. And as one might expect, there was some record setting coming from this match. When we rank Top Death's performance from today, it lands at number 10 of all time. And Top Death also gained some ground in the all-time point leader race. Their total through four matches is 100 points. Good enough to place them 8th on the list. And DC Movie News also creeps in at number 10 with 98 total points of their own. For more stats on the Schmodown, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter right now, and be sure to listen to the Schmodown Rundown podcast every week on the SK Plus YouTube channel or on the Schmo's No podcast feed on iTunes. And this has been your Schmodown Breakdown.
Well, that's been another reaction for you. Beastly Movie News, you had a hell of a try comeback, but in the end, top bet, you were, you were victorious. Jim, Eric, you guys are fucking forces to be reckoned with, and I can't wait to see who you face next. So this is your boy C-Dub Chris Woodburn, and until next time, peace.